Hey YouTube, Tutu UK back again. Um, Sunday, car boot. What a complete Kim washout. Uh, not good today at all. Not good. Uh, hardly any stalls there. Uh, it was really bad. Really disappointed to be honest because it's the earliest I've been up and got there and got the wife out of the house. Um, so yeah, not a good day. Um, but I've got, I mean, a few bits. Nothing, you know, nowhere near anything is good. Uh, typical PlayStation sort of, you know, not not quite a haul, albeit I think there might be one game in here that I've, I've had a quick look on that looks outstanding. Um, the reason for the sort of longer time it took me to put the video up is was I was going to pick some up off eBay and uh, from the house, and the guy just let me down. He weren't there, so I've, I've wasted the, the afternoon. So I'm a bit pissed off to be honest. That having been said, right, um, today's pick, uh, pick ups for the car boot, like I say, a couple of PlayStation games, uh, and then it's just mainly Game Boy stuff, that, you know, nothing outstanding, nothing to shout home about, apart from a couple of, two, two of these PlayStation games, which I think are pretty good. Anyway, on with the drivel, um, I picked up one, two, three, four, five games, I've got these five games for, work bad for two quid, I mean, I'm going to use the case anyway, because I need one of the cases for one of the, um, Crisis Zone that I bought. So I've got Harry Potter, which I've already got, it's got no instructions. Uh, Dynasty Warriors 5, which I thought, oh, okay, not bad, you know, etc. But it's typical car boot, opened up, oh, there's no instructions. I've done, I just thought, oh, I'll check what discs like. And the fucking discs completely shattered, so I mean, that's just dead in the water. But I'll use the case anyway. Um, Simpsons Hit and Run, which I haven't got anyway. Uh, I actually did want this, again it's just for the Harry Potter collection, I think the only one I'm missing now is Goblet of Fire and it's the Quidditch World Cup, uh, that one is actually complete, that's quite good, uh, and then I mean these are the, the shooter games which to be honest, A, I don't really play because B, I'm really shit at them, so, uh, but that's complete, I'm not sure if I've got that actually, I need to check, so if I had that might be up for a trader. Um, then these next lot, I mean this is typical car boot, I mean they're absolutely pissing it down and the, uh, you know I think with sodden and stuff and there's a woman there with a, uh, like a, a box full of these, full of games which I thought you know might be something decent in there and sure enough there was when I asked how much the games were, £4 I said what, for the Playstation 2? She said well ooh, why do you think that's a lot? I said well yeah, it's just, I said yeah, you'd be lucky to get two quid, I said to be honest I'd go for a pound each she said oh well that will do two quid then so anyway, I picked four, four of them out that I've seen straight off. Well, I'd say straight off. Three of them straight off. Uh, and then basically I offered her a fiver for the four, which she took, which I thought was weird, but I didn't argue anyway. Um, so the least sort of, I don't know, rare or, or better, if you want for a better word, is uh, Mortal Kombat Alliance. Uh, a Deadly Alliance, sorry. I don't know if it's any good. Um, to be honest, I was always a Street Fighter fan, not a Mortal Kombat fan. It's, it's, it's complete. Yeah, these are pretty, to be honest, they're pretty well looked after. I think she said they were a boyfriend or something. Um, now, I know I picked this up the other week, but I've seen this one, I looked inside, and this one's actually complete. And like I say, for less than a quid or whatever it was, or just over a quid, I thought I'd have it because it's in much better condition than my one. It's all in there, it's got the extra disc, which the other one didn't have, and also inside. I mean, the instructions are immaculate, but it's also got these little poster cards. I don't know if, you know, whatever. <laughs> and the other thing is, all oh, this is, oh, I love this when they do this. There you go, look. This guy bought from Virgin Megastore. Oh, that's for Virtua Fighter. Oh, I don't know what that's doing there. Anyway, 40 quid. So, anyway, yeah. So, there was that, which I was quite, you know, although I've already got it, I was quite chuffed to have a completed. Yeah, and then, to be honest, it's the, 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 like I said, they're in really good condition, really good nick. Um, these two, one of these games I had seen in like a, a local game shop we got here in my, in my town, but it, it's called it was called um, Hot Pick version or something like that. So it must be like a budget label they bought out of it, which doesn't go for as much money. Now this is like the the, the original, i.e. like the black label if if, if you want. Um, and I mean, I never used to be into these these types of games, but I don't know, it's a bit old. I think I think it's just the um, the simplicity of them, albeit the depth of them, I think afterwards. Yeah, no, it's a shoot 'em up and it's still feed. So, like I said, 
the fact you can just pick it up, shoot the crap out of summer, dead simple. Maybe it's just my age, but obviously then there's the other levels to it of the bonuses and, and everything else. So I'm just seem to be getting into the, the shooting ups a bit more. And yeah, I say it's complete. Um, now this one I've seen, I didn't know anything about it, but again, it's a bit like the one from yesterday, which I checked actually. This incredible crisis, I don't know if you watched the video yesterday, and I wasn't sure about this. This turns out to be somewhat rare. I mean, I don't know how rare, or if it's just people, idiots on eBay saying everything's fucking rare, but yeah, there weren't many of them on there, so I, I hopefully I've dropped lucky here, and I know I've definitely dropped lucky on this game, because again, there ain't many of these on eBay, and it's called Atlantis 3, and it's meant to be like a mist type game, which, uh, you know, I'm not the greatest fan of, but I, I do like the RPG adventure games, and it's all complete. So, getting up early, getting absolutely sodden and stuff, they work bad. Um, and then the other bits I've got, like I say, were Game Boy stuff um, from the, the same same seller. Uh, oh, well, except for this, I've got a DS replay game. I think that's 50p. It does work. I hasn't got the link cable though. Um, so what I picked up, I got from this woman Sonic Advance 3, as you can see from the 250. Uh, what I've seen first straight off the bat was Pac Man collection, no box, just that, which is £1.50. So I managed to get it down to, I think, to like 3 50 for them two, which took me good, really. I, I, I had a walk round, like I say, there was hardly anything there, pissing it down, etc. etc. So I ended up coming back to the stall anyway, just to check over. I, don't, I, I missed this the first time round, and you'll, you'll probably realise why. Um, and don't laugh, no one laugh. What it is, it's a box. <laughs> Game Boy SP. Uh, as you see, he wanted 15 quid for it. I managed to get this for a fiver. Um, she'd sealed the box. I said, Oh, I, I can't, you know, I don't know what condition it's in. I don't know if it's all scratched up or this, that, and the other. I was a little bit harsh, I suppose, but I, I wanted it because, A, you know, I'm trying to not, not go out to collect all the variants and the colours and stuff, but it's just some, you know, usually they're pretty cheap. I thought for a box one, it's got the charger and it's got some of the, the, the powerful lady, the manuals and that. There's no actual um, internals to it. But the actual, you know, the actual con console itself is fine. It's not really a geely, it's not a pinky pink pink. It's more like a metallic pink. The girls love it. They've been fighting over that anyway. So I thought for five quid, that weren't bad and them games there. So that weren't a bad haul, uh, considering, you know, I was there for about an hour for that. Really disappointed. And like I say, um, I was supposed to be picking up a game, which basically, which is ties into the, the Sylphie type one, um, and I think Butters has actually actually picked up yesterday. It's Thunder Force Four, and I was supposed to be picking that up today from a guy on eBay, and I just wasted the afternoon, and I was, that's why I, I, I held out doing this video, and I'm really kind annoyed. I'm really pissed off. Um, so that being said, that's that. Um, I did have some good news when I got back um, from eBay. Um, and it's, it's a game that I, ha I played when I was younger and it's absolute, well I think it's a fucking brilliant game, absolute classic so hopefully that will come next week, uh, I think I've got, like I said yesterday I've got a couple more trades going through the system so I might have something to show next week, um, I, I'll just see, it. Um, and on, as you can see I've sorted out the frame rate, um, there's a few people who give me a couple of ideas. Um, but what it ended up being, it's just a shutter speed on the camera. You just have to adjust it down to 150 so it locks onto the actual uh, interlacing on the TV, which runs at 50 hertz. So that's why there's no flicker now. So I can do my gameplay videos Woo! without a capture card or anything like that. All I'll do is I could try and get a tripod, which someone did have at the car boot for 20 quid. And I'm like, nah, you're okay. I'm not going to pay 20 quid for it. So anyway, that being said, bit of a shitty day, to be honest. Um, bit annoyed. Bit happy with what's happened on eBay when I got back. I'll leave that for another time. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video. I'm going to try and get some gameplay videos done now, so bear with me and maybe show one or two systems off that might be a bit unusual. And uh, yeah, we'll see how we get on. Cheers, and I'll speak to you soon. Bye.